Thanks once again for dropping by the channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, share the video. If you enjoyed it, if you thought it was useful, now let's get into this. So, some news broke last night. It's now morning. It's now about half seven in the morning. Um, news broke last night about Andy Ruiz. Now, Andy Ruiz, we know not long after his fight with AJ, he split with Manny Robles. Manny Robles was the guy who got him to the heavyweight championship, but he split with Manny Robles. Um, I think Manny Robles himself knew that, you know, Ruiz, after he won the championship from AJ, was kind of, you know, loving life a bit too much. And the two ended up going their separate ways post AJ rematch. Now, we heard that Ruiz was actually looking for a new trainer. The name that was really being floated around quite a bit was Teddy Atlas. And, you know, that was spoken about a lot. We saw Teddy Atlas come out and say that, you know, Ruiz, it'd be like training a drug addict because Ruiz loves his food so much. Now, Teddy Atlas and Andy Ruiz, to me, seemed like a good combination if that was going to happen because Atlas with the custom auto style, you know, he's trained, you know, guys like Mike Tyson. He's known, he knows how to get these short pressure fighter heavyweights to, you know, get the best out of themselves. But obviously, Teddy Atlas is... <sighs> He's a very loud, abrasive character. So you often see it with fighters he trains that a lot of them really do have a hard time sticking with him because, you know, he's like he's like a drill sergeant. You know, he will he doesn't hold back. So Andy Ruiz being a guy who is a real mellow guy who, you know, likes being around his family, you know, likes having a smile, likes, you know, getting the Snickers out. That to me, did to, as good as a combination that might have been, you know, from Maurice from a technical point of view, in terms of, you know, how he can develop as a fighter, I think that could have been a nightmare for him in terms of, you know, just the general atmosphere in camp, just the connection between him and Teddy Atlas. So that kind of went by the wayside. Then we heard the name Eddie Reynoso. Now, I didn't do any videos on that when that was being discussed earlier. Because, you know, I said, well, wait and see. Because I've done videos on Teddy Atlas and that went nowhere. That we done videos on uh, Teddy Atlas and that went nowhere. So, I wanted to kind of reserve judgment until I kind of heard a little bit more coming from Eddie Reynoso's end and from Andy Ruiz's end. Now, obviously, as I said, it's been announced that they're going to be working together. You know, he's been seen in pictures with Eddie Reynoso and Canelo. Now, we... I don't think Andy Ruiz and Canelo are, you know, necessarily best buds. That's not to say they have beef or anything like that, no. But I don't think in terms of fighters, they probably they know each other that well. I know Canelo was at the AJ Ruiz rematch in Saudi Arabia. He was pictured backstage with Andy Ruiz. Um, I think that was more... That's not to say that they're friends. I think that was more so the fact that Ruiz being the, the first Mexican heavyweight champion, you know, Canelo is... He's the poster boy for Mexican fighters. You know, Canelo Alvarez is where you aspire to be. He is the poster boy for all things Mexican in the world of boxing. So I think that was kind of why we saw Canelo with that fight. That's not to say they're not enemies or anything like that. I'm sure they will become friends. So we're seeing Ruiz with Canelo. We're seeing Ruiz in with Eddie Renault. So I think this is actually a good move. And I think this will do Andy Ruiz the world of good. You know, Ruiz, the things he needs to work on you know from a technical point of view i don't think there's much more you can give to andy ruiz i think he is what he is he's a full foot counter puncher he applies pressure a little bit he's got very fast hands he's not got the greatest head movement and very slow feet what do you need to do you need to get rid of them slow feet you need to get his head moving a little bit better how do you do that you take the weight off him that's more andy ruiz than the trainer okay so when people say, you know, oh, he needs to be able to do this as a fighter technically, you know, and the trainer can't do it, that's his fault. Well, in some instances, yes, it is. You know, when you look at, you know, trainers like JDs who train guys like Deontay Wilder and stuff like that, you know, the mistakes the fighters are still making, that's obviously a reflection on his training methods. But with Andy Ruiz, it's not necessarily a reflection on the training methods, it's more so the weight. Because if you took the weight off him, he'd be able to do the things he needs to do a lot easier and a lot more effectively. Now, Eddie Reynoso, he's not shown to be as abrasive as Teddy Atlas. He doesn't need to be as, a, what's the word? He's not going to be 
you know, as loud as Teddy Atlas in terms of what he's going to do with Andy Ruiz in camp. But Eddie Reynoso is a fantastic trainer. You know, he has brought Canelo Alvarez along incredibly well. You know, he's got Ryan Garcia now. He's also got that Julio Cesar Martinez guy. So he does he have Jaime Munguia? I'm not sure. Um, I think there was talk of him with Jaime Munguia, but I don't think... I'll have to check that, but I think he might have Jaime Munguia. But he's brought Canelo Alvarez along, you know, very well. And that goes without saying. Just look at the fighter he is. Even just look at Canelo a few years ago. You know, 2016. And you see that he's nowhere near what he is now. And a lot of that, you can say, is Canelo improving. But a lot of that is down to the work Eddie Ronaldo has done with him. And I think he will be able to tap in and get that a little bit more out of Andy Ruiz. But I think that Andy Ruiz being around Canelo is just going to be so much of a boost. Because Canelo, as I said, he is the poster boy for Mexican boxing. Andy Ruiz being around him, seeing how professional Canelo is. Because Canelo is, if you look up professional, that would be Canelo. You know, probably the richest guy in world boxing at the minute. Probably gets the highest purses outside of the heavyweight division. And he never blows up in weight. He's always in the gym. He's always on weight. He's always in shape. You know, Canelo Alvarez is a consummate professional and I think being around him seeing how he does things I think that might motivate Andy Ruiz you know because Canelo Alvarez hell even in even after the win over Triple G when Canelo made you know a hell of a lot of money you know he'd won the middleweight title you know if that was Andy Ruiz in that situation he would have blown up in weight and you know he would have done you know X, Y and Z whereas Canelo was like no I beat Triple G, but I want to get another fight in before the end of the year. And I want to go up to super middleweight and, yeah, have an easy fight against Rocky Field, but I still want to fight. So, Canelo being the consummate professional, I think that might bring Andy Ruiz along. You know, he might see Canelo the way he trains, the way he treats himself. And he might think, you know what, that's the way I need to be. So, I think that this move for Andy Ruiz is a good thing. And I think that, you know, it'd be interesting to see how he looks whenever his next fight gets announced. Now, God knows when boxing's going to be, you know, back in terms of, you know, we seeing big fighters, you know, get out there. Where he wouldn't necessarily be the biggest fighter in the world in terms of, you know, his, his marquee name. But still, you know, the AJ fight would have definitely garnered him a lot of fans, um, American and Mexican. So, you know, we'll have to see. Uh, I would imagine we would see Andy Ruiz probably before the end of the year, more than likely, kind of November, October, maybe December. Uh, probably not against anybody particularly good, you know. I don't want to say a journeyman necessarily, but definitely a fringe contender, you know. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see them stick him in there with someone, you know, some knockover job, maybe Kajani or someone like that. And then, you know, maybe fight Hellenius. Who knows? Hellenius coming off back of a win over Um There's talk of Ortiz, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. So, you know, I think Andy Ruiz signing up with Eddie Reynoso is a good move. Uh, be interesting to see how he looks moving forward but I think that being in being close to greatness being close to someone who is that level if you're that level and he's that level you want to get up to that level I think being in there with Canelo is a great move so now those are my thoughts on this uh, let me know yours down below let me know what you think about it uh, do you think he's made the right decision signing up with Eddie Reynoso Sorry, people, it's early in the morning. I need some coffee. Uh, do you make? Do you think he's made the right idea signing up with anyone else? So let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, of course, if you are new. And as always, I will talk to you.